Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency Demos. My name is Claudio and this is Cryptosh Chain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news, reviews, demos and interviews. And in today's demo we're going to be looking at Nash, the decentralized exchange. They finally launched today and people are really eager, especially the Nash community. Now there's no official community, but the unofficial community on Telegram were really, really eager and everyone's just been bombarding the Telegram channel with comments and questions and things like that. So now you're finally going to see this demo of how Nash exchange looks like. Now Nash have had some technical problems recently so unfortunately they weren't able to release on time but they have done so today and this is why I'm bringing to you the demo as I always do on this channel. Now so let's have a look as we can see on Nash.io and by the way in the description below the video you will find a link to Nash, a referral link so I'd really appreciate it if you could click on that and then register an account if you plan to trade on Nash. Again I'm not a financial advisor, it's not a sponsored demo or anything like that. It's only up to you. If you want to do so, please use my referral link. I really appreciate it because it helps my channel as well. Thank you for that. Now, so as we can see, once you log in, the first thing you actually encounter when you first log in is you get the passphrase once you log in with your email address and password. Now, once you note down your passphrase, you need to write it down. OK, don't save it on your computer. If it gets hacked, you could lose access to your funds, of course, right? Just like you treat a normal wallet. So once you write down your passphrase, you'll be encountered with this screen here that you can see, which says your portfolio is currently empty, obviously, because you have nothing. But this is how it looks. So you've got this here on the right hand side. You've got balances. You've got the trading account and the unfiltered account. So if we go to assets here, we can see the different coins or tokens that you could trade right so this is what you could trade with at the moment okay they will be adding more but this is what they've gone live with so we've got 0x basic attention token ethereum gas guardian neo etc now there are three types of accounts okay so there's the external account which is the account where you receive the funds to then there's the personal account and then there's the trading account which you use to trade on the exchange there's a transfer section here. Now I haven't made any transfers, deposits, withdrawals or account transfers. But if you do, you will have information on here. It tells you the destination, the action and the amount and of course the time when you made the transfer. So that's pretty expected here. Now if we go to the fund section on the top left hand corner, there's a drop down here. So you've got the trade option. If we click on trade, that will take us directly to the exchange where you could see the different trading pairs. So here we've got the markets and the orders, okay, besides the exchange. So now there's a pro option and there's the basic option. There's a toggle button here up on the top right hand corner. So let's toggle for basic and this is how it looks. And let's toggle to pro and this is how it looks again. Basically the main screen. Now there is nothing at the moment obviously because they have only been two transactions, okay, which they're of enormous amounts. OK, as we can see here, but only two transactions, only two transactions. Uh, let's go down here. So here we've got the Travala Ethereum pair, the Bat Ethereum pair. This is all the Ethereum pairs and the Neo pairs as well, of course. Now, there's the USDC one, which is basically supposed to be a stable token, but there's nothing at the moment. And then, of course, the Neo pair, if you're only interested in the Neo pair, if you go to all, obviously, you've got all the different pairs. So this is pretty much what you have to do. And again, at the beginning, when you first uh, sign up and you get the passphrase, you get an option of choosing Neo or Ethereum. So do check both of them out because you will probably get a different passphrase for Ethereum. I haven't tested that out yet. I've started with the Neo one. OK, so this is how it is. And basically assuming that I wanted to go to Gas Neo, I would basically click on the buy order here, set the amount, let's see, two. And then you set the amount in gas that you're interested in and the total in Neo. OK, so this is pretty much how it looks. And your order must exceed 0.5 Neo. So let's set it to 0.6. And your funds are insufficient, of course, because I don't have any funds, but this is how it looks. Then down at the bottom here, you can see the orders open and filled, cancel and partial trade history. So just like on any normal exchange. OK, this is pretty much how it looks. You've got the different accounts here, gas and NEO on the top right hand corner. Buy gas, sell gas, 
by neo sell neo right so this is what you could do let's go to the markets and see how that looks like so here on the market section you can even see the current price okay nine dollars and twelve cents 181 and 10 it's been down in the last 24 hours and so on right so it basically tells you the price and here you can select the 24 hours the one week and the one month okay so you could check the price this far behind so this is quite quite a lot and let's see if you've got no you don't have it okay then you go to orders and here you can see what is available to trade and what is in order so if you place the trade that amount the equivalent amount in dollars for that trade will be in the in order section which is quite normal right this is expected so this is how it is in most exchanges there's the open and filled the canceled and partial and trade history so quite a lot of options here now if we go to buy and sell now unfortunately there are currently no digital assets provided in your area learn more about becoming a Nash currency partner okay so the thing is I'm in Spain okay so maybe there's nothing in Spain at the moment this is my assumption and this is why I'm getting this message and probably a lot of you will also get this message because they probably only allow it in certain countries at the moment but they'll be adding more countries as they go on uh, staking okay so you cannot stake until you get tier 1 verification and we'll get to that in a moment and then statements which tells me nothing here and this is assuming the statements for the stakes the referrals of course so like i said you check out my description you'll find this link here which you can see uh, basically register using my referral ring and that'll be great if you could do that and of course if you can get other people to register using your referral link as well then that would be good because that extends so then if those people get somebody else to register then you also get one extra ticket now the deadline for these tickets that you need to basically uh, activate is the end of the year and it actually tells you here that 26th of December 2019 is the deadline at 6 UTC and how to do it you need the portfolio balance of at least $25 at the time of the draw to be able to count as valid okay so this is how it is and let's go to portfolio so you go to your name here on the top right hand corner you go to my profile support or sign out so you go to my profile and here it gives you the profile information you go to security it tells you that you've got two-factor authentication enabled it basically asks you to enable that from the beginning and you can disable it but it's not recommended there's the limit section of course so you can only trade one thousand dollars worth of assets per day if you only have the basic verification which is basically your email verification if you upload an id it, it's increased to twenty five thousand dollars per day okay then there's the custom limit for professional traders etc etc you probably have to prove how much you're actually making trading to get that unlocked and then of course institutional tier 3 so they have actually prepared for institutions too which is awesome right you go to the account section and here you've got information on the public address that gets generated for you for ethereum and the neo public address as well of course the private key which you can show if you want to show and of course the nash account 12 word secret passphrase so that's good because when you first create an account with Nash it generates an ethereum address and a neo address for you and of course the private key which you can use to unlock your assets and I wonder if you can use that in an actual ethereum wallet or neo wallet I haven't tested it yet okay this is brand new I've literally just checked this out now so I'm quite new to this myself but this is how it is basically so yes this is how it is let me know what you think let me know what you think uh, will you be using Nash Dex? Let me know. I'm curious. Drop a comment below and don't forget to hit the like if you enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.